guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm doing a video for a very highly requested um, Tumblr in my Facebook group. I am kind of like bouncing back and forth between holidays and seasons here, but this is a Christmas themed mug with a whipped cream topping and I'm going to add like some chocolates and candy canes. It's going to be really super cute. Today we have a heat index of like 105 or something like that. We're under a heat advisory and I'm making a Christmas cup. So <laughs> for this tumbler, I am using a camper mug is what it's listed as from Makerflow Crafts. I'll make sure to put a link down in the description and I base painted it white from rust -Oleum. Only thing we're doing today, super simple day today, is using some Mod Podge, a makeup brush, and a glitter called Zeus from the Glitter Grind. This is a really pretty glitter used for the Tacket method, but I'm not doing that today. I did it in a different video. Um, completely different look whenever it's just applied to the tumbler and sealed and epoxied and all that. So this is going to look really super pretty. And I mean, that's all we're doing today. It's going to be simple. So like I said, really simple day today. I'm just going to take my Mod Podge and my makeup brush. Both are from Amazon. And just applying my Mod Podge all over my tumbler. This is a little more difficult because of the handle. I always kind of struggle <laughs> on tumblers with handles. Um, but hey, we'll get there. So now I'm going to go in with Zeus and I am just going to cover up the entire tumbler. So look how pretty. So now the only thing left to do today is to wait for this Mod Podge to dry about five minutes and then seal it with two times Rust-Oleum Clear, pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups and come back tomorrow to show you the next step. All right guys, so a couple of coats later and I did some light sanding before I started the video, but you can't really tell since this is white. Um, but there's two coats of epoxy over this. Now today it's gonna be a busy day with this cup. We're gonna put on the decal, we're gonna do drips, we're going to do the whipped cream topping, um, all that good stuff. So my decal, I printed it out. I will show you guys um, when it's dry, it's over there sealing. Um, so I think, let's go ahead and start on the whipped cream topper. So this whipped cream topper is going to be kind of pretty much just for looks. It's going to be um, removable, but we're not going to do it with magnets. This lid, because like I said, this is a camper mug. So this is the kind of lid it has. It is a twisty lid, um, the black plastic. So obviously I don't want to put anything down on this because I think it would just be in the person's way too much because if, you know, if you drink out of a mug like this, you're probably not going to have a straw. So this is pretty much just going to be for looks. It's going to be removable and not an actual like functioning piece. So this is cardstock, um, light cardstock I got from Amazon and I'll make sure to put a link down in the description. So what I want to do is just cut a circle that's going to sit on top of this lid. So I've got my pen and I'm going to kind of like crinkle the paper so I can get a good idea and I'm just very roughly drawing a circle to map out where I'm going to cut and then just cut it out. Alright so that looks good to me like I said it's just going to be um, used for decoration. So now I have this lightweight spackling. It's Fast and Final brand. I got this from Amazon. I'll also put it down in the description along with a reusable um, pastry bag. I think this is what it's called. It's how you like pipe cakes, piping bag. Um, also from Amazon. <laughs> I'll make sure to put a link down in the description. So I just want to take this spackling. It needs stirred up because it's been sitting for a while. But I just want to take the spackling and put it in the bag. I'm, it takes a lot more than you think, really. So I'm going to fill it up as much as I can and then um, come back and show you guys what to do next. All right, so now I'm just going to lay down kind of like a base, I guess I could say. This is just liquid fusion. It's what everybody's been using for um, 
rhinestone tumblers and I'm just gonna put just a swirl of it on here and that's just gonna give me a little extra peace of mind um, that the spackling is going to stay put so I'm afraid that's gonna fall so I'm just gonna put that on the table I filled up I just put some of that spackling down inside the piping bag and I'm just gonna pipe this like a cake I'm just going to slow and steady go all the way around and I want to get as close to the edge as possible because I really don't want the paper to show up I'm just going to keep that swirl going until I'm satisfied with how it looks. And that's why I said this takes a lot more than you would think um, because you are wanting to fill this up and you might want to make it really tall. Um, so just do it until you are satisfied. so now that the spackling is on there how I want it I did add a little bit more um, off camera because I was not satisfied after I started looking at it more but anyway I'm gonna start decorating it this is candy cane from the glitter grind and then these are some chocolates that I got from Amazon and I'm also gonna use the peppermints that I got from the glitter grind as well so like I said like always I will have links in my description for everything but this is just kind of like doing your own thing. Um, I think I'm actually going to start with the glitter. The glitter, I'm kind of using it as like sprinkles and just randomly sprinkling some on. I don't want to overload it, but I do want to put enough on there to be noticeable. And now I'm just going to put some chocolates on there. I want to stay away from like the really bright colorful ones because I feel like they don't really go with what I'm doing here. So I'm going to put one of these on here and just kind of smush it down into the spackling. And maybe one of these. One more right there okay now I'm going to add a candy cane or two and this is all just a personal preference thing you can decorate it however you want all right so now at this point I am just going to set it to the side and let it dry um, I normally like to wait couple of days um, I'll check back tomorrow to see for sure how it looks and feels um, but I want it to be completely hardened before I put epoxy or anything over it um, and since this is a removable thing just for decoration I might not even put epoxy um, I might just spray seal it just to keep that glitter and stuff on there and then once everything hardens um, the candies and the, the you know the candy canes those are going to be pretty well stuck in there so um, I don't have to worry about them moving so now I'm gonna put the decal on the tumbler this I know of course I print it mirrored but I got it from Etsy I'll make sure to put a link down in the description I've already sealed it I'm just gonna go ahead and put it down here in the water and get it on the tumbler all right so I'm gonna place this a little further down than I normally would because I know I'm gonna be putting drips on there and I should be getting my cup cradle out from Bama Cups, but I'm already going. Alright, so that went on pretty easy. That's what I'm working with. I'm going to let this dry, and then if you guys have not already seen my video um, where I add drips, then I'm going to show you guys how I do that as well because I don't use epoxy for them. All right, so now I'm going to start working on the drips. This is just the regular Mod Podge that I always use. I'm going to put some in a little cup here. And then this is Nutmeg Brown acrylic paint from Apple Barrel. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in 
to give my Mod Podge some color because I want this to look like chocolate drips. And right now it's going to look um, not so vibrant. But once it gets on the cup and the Mod Podge dries, you will be able to see like the true color of the paint. So now to thicken this up, I've got some cornstarch. This is just from Kroger. And I'm going to add a good bit at a time. And just stir it up and repeat the process until this is um, at the consistency that I want it. I want it to be pretty thick and pasty because I don't want it to run down the tumbler too quick. I'll normally test it by just taking some and scraping it down the side of the cup and it's still running pretty quick so I'm just going to keep adding a little bit more cornstarch and try the drip again. So now it's time to do the drips. So I am just going to take my popsicle stick with my mixture here and scrape onto the side of the cup and let it drip down and I'm going to do this all around the cup until I have my desired look. So now this just needs to dry and I normally let it dry overnight because even though it might feel dry you can like barely push on it and it is very squishy until the next day when it completely hardens up so I'm gonna let this dry overnight I'm gonna let the um, whipped cream topping thing over here dry overnight and then come back tomorrow and put a layer of epoxy over everything all right guys so here we are after some epoxy I think this is so stinking cute so what I'm going to do now, I am going to add another coat of epoxy because even though everything is good and smooth, I always like to add at least two coats. So I am going to add another coat, but first I'm going to clean up the rim and put the lid on with the topper here and show you guys. So this is just that Mod Podge. Um, there might be a little bit of epoxy over it here and there. But this is the Mod Podge and cornstarch solution that I mixed up yesterday for the drips. And that hardens up pretty good you can see how it's flaking off pretty bad and then I just like to very lightly sand around the rim and I'll clean it up more thoroughly um, tomorrow like I'll get the paint and everything out of there but here it is with the lid on and then I ended up not putting epoxy on this because like I said it's just going to be for looks it's never actually going to be like washed or anything so sit that down on top and look how cute so like I said another coat of epoxy will be added but I did want to make sure I was able to show you guys how stinking cute this is I absolutely love it now if you were gonna do something um, like with the uh, lemonade and like ice and fake lemons and all that um, if you are gonna put this on a normal tumbler with a lid that's a little more accessible um, you can do this what we did right here on a coaster like a car coaster and use the magnets like I did in the lemonade tumbler tutorial I'll make sure to put that either down in the description or floating around up here somewhere um, so you guys can see what I'm talking about if you haven't seen it but I'm sure you've probably seen a, some version of it because it was very very popular there for a while so before I go I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day and today's quote is your attitude is like a box of crayons that color your world constantly color your picture gray and your picture will always be bleak try adding some bright colors to the picture by including humor and your picture begins to lighten up that was said by alan klein thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to the members of my facebook group for suggesting a tumbler like this i honestly wouldn't have thought about doing it yet um but i mean i like it it's a thousand billion degrees outside and i'm in here making hot chocolate 
Christmas cups. I'm, I'm all for it. I love getting suggestions from everybody um, on what to make next. So if you want to join my Patreon group or my Facebook group or anything, um, or just make a comment and let me know what you would like to see next. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!